Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to show you how to disable the command prompt and actually batch and command files as well from being run on a machine. Really, really easy to do with Group Policy Editor. That would be my preference if you have Windows 10 Home. Check the video description and look for a link to this article and go right here. When you get to Enable Group Policy, there's a video on how to do it, but basically it's just a batch file. So you just download it and run it as administrator, ironically. So let's uh, go with Group Policy Editor, and we're going to go to the User Configuration, Administrative Template System, Windows Key plus R. Type in gpedit.msc. And go to User Configuration, Administrative Templates, System, and scroll down and look for Prevent Access to the Command Prompt. Go ahead and double-click that. Uh, unlike all the things in Group Policy Editor, this one's going to have two settings. Go ahead and click Enabled to stop the command prompt from being run. And if you'd like to disable, as we mentioned, Command and Batch Files, click Yes. These are files that are typically text, and once they're in the .cmd and .bat files, they run using the command prompt. So I'm pretty sure you're going to want to disable that. If you're looking to disable the command prompt, you're looking to disable somebody being able to write or get access to go around that. You see what I'm saying? Oh my God, I hope you do. All right, so go ahead and click OK, and we will show you with the Windows key plus R. Go ahead and type in CMD, and as you can see, it's been disabled. So to come back, we just come back here, not configured. This automatically goes back. Click OK, and we're back simple as that now if for some reason you should be all set now you can't or didn't or don't want to enable group policy editor we can get there with the registry although a little bit more of a pain not much so highlight this text right here and do the windows key plus r and type in regedit and when it comes up clear out the word computer and hit a control v and then hit enter now you heard that little beep hopefully that's probably because I may not have the system key this is why it's a little more difficult so we're looking to go to HK current user software policies Microsoft Windows and there's no system so what you'd have to do is right click new key and you have to name that system there you go let's move forward now we have to do a new D word 32 bit value and we're going to name it disable CMD. So right back to the registry editor. We have system. We're going to right click on the right side, new D word 32 bit value. Almost always use that no matter whether you're on a 64 bit or 32 bit operating system. There's your control V disable CMD. Now we're going to double click it. And as you can see, we're going to change the value data to 1 that will disable the command prompt and the batch and the command files. Change it to 2 and you'll only disable the command prompt. Let's take a look. It's probably 0 right now, which means it's enabled. So let's go ahead and do 1. Click OK. Go ahead and close the window. I believe we have to reboot after the registry. Let me take a look. Nope, it worked. So pretty easy to do. Now, let's say you change your mind. You want to get rid of it. You have a couple of choices. It really depends. Where you start regedit back up, you're going to be right back where we left under the system. Now, there's two things you can do. Double click this and change that back to zero. There you go. Now, remember where we created the system key, another shortcut would be to come down here where the system key is and go ahead and click delete. And it wasn't there before, it's not there now. And I can assure you everything will work. Whoops. If I, if I can get my fingers to work. Oh, win R, yeah, CMD. You can see it works even with that, when well, that key is gone. So basically, we just went back to where you were. And that's pretty much it. There's some other nice little similar stuff down here, how to disable the run dialog you might be interested in, disable registry editor, stuff like that. So go ahead and check those out. And again, if you have group policy there, definitely take the time to enable it because you'll thank me later, especially if you're starting to tweak your computer a lot because group policy editor makes 
everything easier than the registry in my humble opinion as always in the bottom right hand corner is the major geeks logo you can click to subscribe we appreciate that and we thank you so much for watching hopefully we'll see you again soon see ya